Good morning. Today is an exciting day because we are putting up our Christmas decor, Christmas tree. Hopefully the lights too outside. Um, we are doing it before Thanksgiving, which is fine. I think if it makes you happy, you should do it whenever before or after Thanksgiving. But I'm so excited because then I can know what we have because this is only our second Christmas in our house. And when we moved in last year, we had literally moved in like a month before. So we didn't um, buy like a ton of Christmas stuff. I think I remember buying a little bit, but I want to see like what I have so that I can go to Hobby Lobby and Target and maybe get a few more things. So I'm so excited. Today, the Christmas decor is going up. Dom is currently bringing in all of the Christmas decor. I took down all my pumpkins and put them away. So we're gonna bring it all in and then I think I'm gonna start with the front door while he finishes watching football. I have a blanket down there I want to throw in the washer so I can put it on the couch. Last year, I had a cute like rug that went under this, so I might get another one. I'm assuming it got like beat up, so I just trashed it. But the wreath, the Merry Christmas, so cute. I think next, I'm gonna work on this ledge. I can't put too much on it because it's not secured to the wall 100%, but just a little bit. but I'm gonna wait to see what decor I have left. But they're just cute little pocket placements. We also, fun fact about us, have so many gnomes. Dom is obsessed with gnomes. <laughs> so we have a ton of gnomes everywhere. And a big one. I found the rug that goes under there in a Another box, so now I don't have to go get one. Okay, cute. Oh yeah, much more Christmassy. I think that's all I'm gonna do, at least for the front door. I don't know what else I would add. Now going to do this section, going to dust it all off, and then put the Harry Potter Christmas Village all in there. Dominic is pulling out all of the multiple pieces of the village, and I'm gonna try to use leftover spider webs from Halloween as snow.
cobwebs I think look good for snow. And little Harry Potter village, all the little people. Fun fact about this village, Dom was persuaded, he has another piece, was persuaded by an Instagram ad to buy it, because we don't have a village and we always wanted a village. One more. And um, they just kept sending it monthly, he didn't realize that it was like a monthly subscription. So up until like last year, even after Christmas last year, we were getting pieces mailed to us and finally I called him and I was like, you, I had him call because I was like, this has to stop. They just kept sending them monthly. So, in fact, he signed up for a monthly uh, village subscription. <laughs> but it worked out because it's actually really cute. And now we don't have to buy a village. Here's the finished product. After going through more boxes, he found more big pieces. So we took out the little tic-tac-toe decoration. And now it's a... Complete Harry Potter village. Got Hermione back there. Actually looks really good. The spider webs was such a good idea for the snow. That is a good idea. It looks so good. We usually hang the stockings, or usually we did last year right here. It's kind of a lot going on, so I'm gonna do it over here on this window seal. We have three, but there's only two of us. But that way when Dom's family comes in, they can hang shockings there. Tennessee has 404 yards of offense to just 191 for Houston. Yet it's the Texans up by nine. Cute. Many gnomes to put places, so I did these in our spare bathroom. They're just cute little triplets. We just took a little lunch break, but now it's time to do the tree. So we're gonna unbox it and get it all decorated. Functioning, but that's okay. We've got the elves trying to sneak into the tree. Now we just we found a nutcracker and some more stuff to kind of just put around. So the inside is pretty much done besides one garland, but we have to figure out how to plug it in. So we have this corner with puzzles, Christmas puzzles, a gnome, that little thing, the tree. We hung little puff balls on there. And then the center of the table. And, oh, we have some towels out for Christmas. The stockings. We added a Christmas blanket. I've already shown that. And village. Now we just got to do these bad boys, the lights. But I think we're going to add on to our Christmas decorating day and go Christmas shopping just for a few things. Oh, and then we have the nutcracker and this little thing we got from Austria that you like put candles in. Going to get a few nights things, a little Christmas shopping. Got the goods. Christmas shopping almost done. Made one last stop. 
Oh, yeah, anthropology. anthropology. Oh, we do have one little more stop. We made a stop at Anthropology for gifts for his coworkers for Christmas. Now we are going to go to Home Goods to get him a new wallet for Christmas. The lighting is all crazy because of daylight savings time. I'm trying to show you outside. It's already dark, but we are now eating dinner, and I think we're gonna save the outdoor lights for a different day. We're both pretty uh, worn out over there, <laughs> and me. So I think that's gonna be the end of us putting up Christmas decor and maybe I'll film when we do the outside lights as well.